massive rain last night there's uh from right here in there it's right at a mile in there to where the loader's sitting and uh from here back to the county road there is still going to be it's not it's about three-eighths of a mile and it's just slop mm -mm -mm. you ain't gonna get no truck out of that this is the hill coming up coming up in this road pretty much every load that we come bring out of here we're having to work the road with the with the grader that's how much moisture is in it and uh we just it just will not firm up and set up for us sometimes you you had this ground like this that uh works like that but i'm not even i'm not even gonna drive down in there and so anyhow we'll figure out something else to do today and uh just thought i'd at least show y'all this right here so i got the drone out as we shut down today uh, flying over the 635 here just such a cool machine hadn't had any trouble with it at all since uh jay fixed it up for us uh we put we did a bunch of other work for it to a bunch of other work to it also while jay had it i think we spent probably all together probably eight grand or so on that thing fixing it up because i was kind of asking Derek some of the other prices and i was kind of putting everything together and i think that's about what it was but we're almost done with this job right here. You can see this lane that Derek has cut right here, kind of in the center of the screen. I'm fixing to spin a drone around. All right, that's the lane. I'm facing back, going back up that lane. All he likes is this strip between that lane he's cut and the cutover over here on the right. And he'll be done. A lot of people in the drone video where I flew over this place the other day talked about the regeneration on this track in a year and you know, a year and a half in and that's right i was looking at some of the trees out there the saplings that are growing today when i was uh, coming down through there look at the contour of the ground right here too and a lot of the uh, hardwood that's out there is you know six seven foot tall already i mean the gums are popular i mean it's just littered with it all down through there so even if you don't plant it man it it comes back quick fast and in a hurry i mean and uh so we should derek will finish cutting this thing out tomorrow and you know, which will be thursday i will be watching this on thursday and then it'll probably take me another day to kind of they're about a day ahead of me not maybe not quite a day but kevin's kind of broke down right now he's got a hose we're gonna have to replace in the morning so i may kind of catch up with him a little bit while you know that's going on so i'll get the trucks loaded maybe i can get some film for it. jay's coming out to kind of help us out on it in the morning there when we kind of maybe get going on it but um you kind of see here this this is a line right here on the right man it's some tough cutting when you cut on a hillside and you're cutting against the property line like it and, it, and there those are not real fun to deal with and uh cut against right there so appreciate y'all watching y'all stay tuned here so this is what we're about to do now <laughs> this is tight let me tell you because i have i have taken these batteries out one time already and uh it is not very easy so i've got both of my clasp on each battery is now broke too so i'm going to replace them while i'm at it also first thing i got to do is just get these get these wires off real quick and i'm i got some uh, zip ties here that i'm going to gather them up with so that i'm make sure i don't put anything in the wrong place so let's get busy so i got to thinking i had an extra shirt in the truck and uh, went out there took that long sleeve one off let me get all these wires off right here. That's all. This is just a uh, 12 volt trolling motor on this boat because it's this is a small boat here, and so it's only got two batteries in it. One, you know, trolling, and the other one is cranking battery. Let me hang on. Let me go ahead and get these zip tied up right quick. 
Put them all up. I'm not gonna bore y'all with watching all this. I'm just gonna put it through the eyes on all of them here. Oh shoot. Come on man. Right after I got this boat, I had it about a couple months. The cranking battery actually killed on me. It, it went bad on me right off the bat, I mean. And uh, so I had a battery here. They gave me another brand new one. The cranking battery was a 23, but I had a 27 here. So I put a 27 in it and I just saved that 23 just in case for whatever I needed or anything. And, and I still got that 23 sitting over there and it's still hot too. I mean, I checked it the other day. But I prefer the larger battery. I did have to do a little modification on the uh, tray to fit the 27 since it had a since it was set up for a 23. But that that was pretty simple to do. I fixed that. The trolling motor battery, which is what I'm taking out right now or working on taking out right now, is a 27 size battery. Okay. Get all these zip tied here together. Okay, so that way I don't get anything screwed up. I've got them all situated. All right. Well, shucks. I'm gonna have to cut that zip tie because this wire right here needs to come off. Hang on. You've almost got to turn. I got to turn. Any Hang it, boy. Junky things. Why they can't make stuff no better than they do. I'll run the vacuum down in there. I run a good bit of stuff in this boat too. I run, uh, what you got the trolling motor and, and then the cranking battery. I run two big depth finders. Uh, I have a Garmin. And I have a Hummingbird, it's a Helix 9, I believe it is. And then uh, I have the Power Pole Micros back here. I have two of them, of course, too, that I run. Also, so I run a good bit of stuff. These batteries are, uh, are four years old. So they've done, they've done good for the amount that I put on them. I don't want to move y'all out of my way. All right, so I got the cranking battery slid back a little bit. Get the wires off of it here. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna zip these together so that I'll know they go on to the cranking battery. Gotta get this big bohemian dude out of here too. They, I swear they could have gave you a little bit more room. They would have went that away just a little bit. I mean, they got they had they had room here to spare. Cause there's nothing. Y'all are sitting on top of nothing, and there's nothing over there. Okay. They could have they could have gave a little bit here, but they didn't. next boat I get will not be like this one, I can promise you that. Alright, let's see if we can come up with it. Uh, that's what it looks like down in there. I'm going to take the uh, vacuum and we'll suck all that out.
Alright, and so the heck, oh, my alarm I'm going off to pull this video. So just like always on my stuff, I'm gonna have to take these battery trays out to be able to get the new uh, strap up under them. So let me publish the video for y'all. So they're both in two brand new batteries. I didn't film any of it because there was uh, my channel's a clean channel, and I did a lot of cussing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. That cranking battery in the back back there, the one on the right, is tough because that's not supposed to be a 27 size right there. That's supposed to be a 23. A 27 will fit, but it's ugly getting it in there. It will barely fit. <laughs> so anyhow, got it done. Uh, Dean's on his way over here. He's got a broke bolt in his uh, lawnmower spindle and uh, going to get it out here in just a second for him. Well, Hunter's coming tomorrow to cut the grass. Boy, well, it needs it too. It's rained every day and we had a little front come through. And man, yesterday and today, it has been nice here. I mean, very, very nice. This morning, the temperature was like 61, which is unreal here this time of year, but hear all them frogs out there? Those things are pretty cool. I love it out here at night like that. You can hear them frogs getting after it. And, uh, but, uh, that battery, those batteries on that boat, man, those, those things are tough. I'm talking about they tough. So, hope you enjoyed all that today. Uh, check out everything down below if you want to, uh, my, I hadn't mentioned my Amazon link in a while. If you're looking for a gift for somebody, you know, man, woman, or anything, there's, and there's like, I think I've got 200 items listed in that thing now, all kinds of different ideas and stuff that I use. So, you know, if you're looking for ideas for something, you can uh, go down there and just scroll through it. And there's about something for everybody, especially, like I said, uh, gift stuff. And, uh, oh, but, uh, we're gonna get after it tomorrow in the woods, so we'll uh we'll catch y'all later. Later taters.